In the summer of 2010, Steve Snell built a boat. He built this boat in the form of a couch. Then he decided to take this couch boat down the Connecticut River on an adventure from Hatfield to Northampton, Massachusetts. After a challenge to somehow make his couch boat journey an important event, Steve engaged the pseudo-reality of popular culture for help, a world that has long served as inspiration for his artwork. He promoted this adventure, making it known to the local community, and invited them to come witness his voyage. Declaring himself the king of the river, Snell provided the introduction of a story, complete with a coonskin-capped character and a challenge to be completed. The physical performance of adventure took nearly eight hours to complete. Along the way, he met local fishermen, leisure boaters, kayakers, friends, and jet skiers. Steve interacted with the people that he met through various forms of social engagement. By the time he reached the end of his voyage in Northampton, dozens of people lined a nearby footbridge with cheers of enthusiasm and support. Between a few short conversations and paddle-waving hoots to the gathering crowd on the bridge, an alternative reality was built between this character and audience. One person even verified Steve's position as king through the tribute of a medallion with multicolored ribbons. The adventure became a brief intermission from the common and the ordinary, providing an idealistic, simulated vision of adventure as an alternative. Although the physical adventure ended around 5 p.m., the story continues on in mediated form. Originally airing on local NBC Channel 22, the story was distributed across affiliate stations from around the country, ranging from Austin, Texas to Seattle, Washington. A short segment was even shown on CNN and posted to their Twitter page alongside pop star Lady Gaga and Iranian President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. Popular media collectively shaped the appearance and meaning of this adventure, establishing a level of importance that the artist was unable to create on his own. Steve both used and was used by a pseudo-event structure in order to perpetuate this idea of his river ascendancy. He provided something that fulfilled an extravagant expectation, even if it was not something that people might have expected. With the help of the local media, the expectations of the public, and his couch boat, Steve had indeed become the king of the river. Like any successful pseudo-event, it was a self-fulfilling prophecy.